The far right are always trying to find ways to confuse people, to spread filth, conspiracies and lies, all to promote their own growth. But they're the biggest bunch of hypocrites on the face of this planet. <laughs> Now they want to convince you that they cared about kids. Yeah, right. The far right in Ireland failed miserably in the last election. Decisively rejected by a working class that had just voted through repeal and before that had voted marriage equality. It was some of the poorest areas in Dublin voted 80-85% for repeal. Because working class people understand we don't want to go back to the dark old days of rule by priests and by the church. Most working class people know that the church was a pillar of the establishment in this country and was part and parcel of the mechanisms of keeping us down. So here comes the far right saying, bring back rule by the priests. Bring back the systematic rape and abuse of working class kids. Bring back the Magdalene laundries. Bring back constitutions written by people like Archbishop McQuaid. Bring back the dark old days when the establishment in Ireland used the church and abusive paedophile priests to keep working class people beaten and abused and keep us down. These people want to bring that back. They want to rebuild the broken pillar of the establishment, the Catholic Church. And so while the far right present themselves as anti-establishment, they promote the most establishment views you could ever get. We should expose these far right fills for what they are. Hypocrites who want to drag us back to the Middle Ages. Look at Herman Kelly, leader of the Irish Freedom Party. His whole career has been about covering up for paedophile priests and slandering victims of church abuse. For a few years he was deputy editor of the Irish Catholic newspaper. And what did he write about when he was deputy editor? He slandered victims of abuse. He even used the Irish Catholic newspaper to claim that stories of mass graves and that church abuse of children and that children were buried in mass graves like in Tune were all false. In 2007 he wrote a book called Cathy's Real Story. The whole book was about trying to undermine a woman who'd been raped. He went out of his way to dismiss this woman's story, to slander the woman to throw muck at her claims of abuse. Even though her story was just one among thousands of stories of abuse at the hands of the church. So how come Herman Kelly and the Irish Freedom Party claim that they cared about kids? They don't care about kids that were left in a mass grave in a septic tank duty. They don't care about all the kids in places like Ballyferme, in working class estates across this country where paedophile priests were moved from poor estate to poor estate, abusing kids, leaving a trail of destruction, destroying lives, burning through so many little souls. And when they were caught, they would just move to another poor estate. The logic of the church was that maybe poor people wouldn't be as likely to speak out when they were abused. But Herman Kelly and his Irish Freedom Party, they claim to be Irish patriots. And then they go and make links with loyalists like Jim Dowson. Now Jim Dowson is not only a loyalist, not only an extreme loyalist, but he's also a member of the British National Party. So they go on about being patriots and then have links to British Nazis and loyalists. Those Herman Kelly applaud when Jim Dowson goes out on the 12th of July shouting kill all tigers. Does he applaud when the BNP say no blacks, no dogs, no Irish? Does Herman Kelly go, oh well done my fellow far right scumbag? But it's no surprise because Herman Kelly made his money as Director of Communications for Nigel Farage. Nigel Farage is a rotten little Tory. I mean I've got problems with the EU but rebuilding the British Empire is no solution. And so Herman Kelly and his Irish Freedom Party want out of the EU but they only want out of the EU because they want to tie working class people here in Ireland to the apron strings of the British Empire. But the rest of the far right aren't far behind Herman Kelly when it comes to hypocrisy. Look at Justin Barrett. He's like a miniature hobbit version of Hitler. He started off his political career in Young Fine Gael. But Young Fine Gael wasn't extreme enough for Justin Barrett. So he jumped ship and joined Youth Defence, a gang of extreme little Catholics who wanted to stop a 14 year old rape victim from travelling to Britain to get a termination. 
these extreme little Catholic Muppets watch The Handmaid's Tale and think, oh, that's the blueprint for the perfect society, where young girls can be raped by priests and then we don't let them get a termination, they're forced to carry the baby to term. He formed the National Party in 2006 because young Fine Gael and Youth Defence weren't extreme enough for him. But he got into loads of stick because he went to Germany and spoke at a load of fascist rallies where surviving Nazis from World War II were given standing ovations. And then to top it off, he goes over to Italy and has rallies with Italian fascists. When questioned about abusive priests, he blames homosexuality. He says, oh no, no, the priests weren't abusing people because of Catholicism or because of the power structures of Irish capitalism. The priests were abusing people because they were homosexual. Trying to link homosexuality and paedophilia. But there's no connection between being LGBT and being a paedophile. The idea that straight, white, Irish men don't abuse kids is rubbish and is not borne out by statistics where most kids are shown to be abused by someone in their own family or someone that they know. And in Ireland, where the church played its part in keeping the working class down, child abuse was part and parcel of a psychology of revenge as upper class and middle class priests brutalised working class kids. So that's his method, pretending to be anti-establishment, when actually espousing the most establishment views you could ever get. The most backward views you could ever get. The poet Patrick Kavanagh once described living in Ireland in the 1950s under church rule as like living at a wake where no one ever disturbs the mourners with a thought. We never want to go back to those dark old days where abuse was systematic and hidden because the church controlled everything, from the media to the schools. The church has been weakened in the last few years, but they're still a big landowner. They still haven't paid the victims of abuse. They still control most of our schools. And so there's still a job to be done. The far right are looking back and saying, let's rebuild the church. When in reality, the working class should be saying, the job's half done, let's finish it. The mainstream parties, Fianna Fáil and Fianna Gael, lost votes after the 2008 banking crisis. They bailed out the banks but they lost popular support. And so they knew the working class in Ireland wanted progress and were sick of the dark old days of the church. So Fianna Fáil and Fianna Gael half-heartedly embraced the progressive agenda. But that pissed off some of their rural grassroots. Some of their supporters were annoyed that they were turning their back on the church. And that's who the far right are recruiting from. A pool of spoiled children. People who are like, oh no, the church doesn't control everything anymore. But the far right have always been partially establishment. Hitler's movement was recruited from among officers. Some of his main henchmen were the sons of theatre owners. In other words, they were that small business class between the bosses and the working class. But that small business class, when they start getting pushed into poverty, they say to themselves, I am too important to be pushed into poverty. I don't want to live like working class people. And they start banging their fists on tables. And that was Hitler's talent. He could bang his fist on a table and it resonated with a class of privileged people who were sick of being pushed into poverty. But their rebellion was a fake rebellion. Because once in power, the Knight of the Long Knives, he stabbed in the back, literally stabbed his own supporters who were expecting social change. And then Hitler wed himself to the big German corporations and embarked on a war. So the main body of the rich don't want fascism. Until there's an emergency, when there's a working class revolution, they get scared and they invite the fascists in to kick us down. And so the working class and the fascists are pushing in opposite directions. They want less democracy for workers, we want more democracy for workers. They want to defend the corporations and corporate power, we want to overthrow the corporations and corporate power. They want to bring back church rule, we need to finish off church rule in Ireland. And so when the far right stand outside the doll with placards with nooses on them, it's got nothing to do with paedophilia and got everything to do with them trying to spread their hate and grow. I have no time for the Green Party. They're a bunch of neoliberal idiots who think the solution to climate change is to tax working class people. It's bullshit. It'll have no effect on the environment. It'll just punish poor people and push people into fuel poverty. 
But when the far right come along, spreading homophobia and spreading lies about a Green Party minister, we have to call them out on their lies. Doesn't mean we're siding with the Greens, just means we know exactly what the far right are about. And we know that they're hypocrites of the highest order. The main enemy of working class people in Ireland is Fianna Fáil and Fine Gael. That's clear. They're the people who are going to cut our welfare, who are going to, but, but while fighting our main enemy and keeping our focus on fighting our main enemy, we can't forget that if the far right grow, they'll destroy everything we've ever fought for. We need to confront them with mass united movements of the left. All the left-wing parties, unions, community groups need to unite in a show of force to demoralise, disperse and destroy the far right 